church say amen. Let the church say amen again. Give it an opportunity to thank the Lord for this wonderful day. My name is Pastor Roland Brown. We are at Rockford, Illinois, at Miles Memorial, CME Church. We are glad to be in the service one more time. Amen. Glad to be in the service one more time. Words that say, he didn't have to let me live. He did not have to let me live. Live to be in the service one more time. God is good. And he never somebody say all the time. And all the time. God is good. We'll sing an old familiar hymn called Blessed Assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of the Spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story. Everybody got a story here. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Let's be the sure Jesus is mine. Words right there. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Lord of the Spirit, watch me
believe in. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and said at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from this he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, the life everlasting.
Miss Carlos. May Mother's Day blessing bags and June Father's Day blessing bags. Please bring in your gently used Bibles, uh, full size toiletries, purse, backpack to the church to help women and men in need. If you have a bike, even one that's in need of repair, there are a need of two. Please remember to pay uh, your conference claims. $250 for adults, $50, uh, $50 for youth. If you would like to make payments, please do so. Thank you for those who have paid. Um, thank you to those who have paid their uh, pledges required. Amen. Which was Amen. 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 Uh, I want to say the time was a great success. Amen. 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 We had a great time fellowshipping. With the churches, pilgrims, and uh, Providence. Yes. It, was a, it was a good time. Yeah. Any other announcements? Yes. You said Sunday school is at 2 o'clock? Yeah, one o'clock. Should be one. Uh, it should be one. I'm probably okay. reading from, a, from an old uh, schedule. Okay. And remember, uh, next uh, Sunday is the fifth Sunday, and uh, the lady department. I'd like for you to pay $25 every fifth Sunday. I think it's like two or three missionaries. Uh, missionaries, I'm sorry. In the uh, entire uh, year. So every fifth Sunday, uh, they actually uh, get $25 for their uh, for their cause. Any other announcements? Other announcements? Amen. Amen. Church, amen. amen. Praise you, Lord. Uh, to announce for our lunch and prayer this morning. Again, everybody, thank you for being here to last night. God anointed this place. We got out at 7.30. Amen. <laughs> 6 o'clock at 7.30. Uh, Noah is on the road right now asking me in prayer for him. Uh, if I missed then we have two things. We have a, a, a signature uh, of his new album, new CD. He wanted to like to get one uh, regarding that man. That's new. And also, we're going to be sending out a concert uh, either by YouTube or by the phone. First, uh, so, praise God. We have, have that type of technology. As we get ready for prayer, I always say pray for those who had death in their families. The face of my heart, the call about the families of Robert A. Drew, Marcus. D. Morrison, Andre McKinnon, Aaron Salter, Geraldine Talley, Celestine Cheney, Pimon Patterson, Catherine Macy, Pearl Young, Ruth Whitfield, Zaire Goodman, Jennifer Warrington.
Grapevine Church. Grapevine Backslider. Pray for Miles and all the churches that are around. Those who are here and those who are missing. We still have people missing. Come on in. Pray for the sick and shut in. Why don't you pray for my friend, uh, Dr. John Myers. He is our doctor residency and also one that takes care of all patients as far as growing in my hospice that have surgery.
Praise God. Thank you, choir, for your songs. I know you were looking for a bass player, but you had some places to go, so. So, uh, thank you. You got people like Gordon, thank you for sending some pictures of mass nights, a lot of nice pictures of mass nights. So, try to get that out to you. Thank you, Mark. Y'all, y'all really tore the house down. Trustees got problems that we can still leave it. <laughs> and the God the Providence and Bill, we don't even have a roof anymore. So we got a pair of God did some pairs on that. Thank you. Yeah, I'd like to thank everyone who gave as far as we need a new system. And we were able to heal well. Yes. Yeah. And I thank you for your gifts and how you made that happen. Appreciate that. Thank you. That's the first name to call it. And also Teresa. The chair. And we thank you, man. Even the president, that nation. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Tech Team, John Asian, and yeah. Carl. Yeah. Um, yeah. They were you they were somehow when no one went to his the the tape, it was right there. It was right there. It was right there. Thank you, Ushers. Yes. Appreciate you. We made sure everyone was safe and did the, everything on the offering. It was a blessing. blessing. As is you. Oh, I want to also say to you, Facebook. Believe it or not, last night we had over 100 or 141. 141 viewing that particular program. We give God a praise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They really enjoyed it. They really enjoyed it. They had a lot of good comments. So thank you very much. Thank you, visitors who are here today. Uh, thank God for um, my friend talking about Tony McConnell. Um, thank you. Thank you for talking. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Got so many people we touch. And you keep on touching. Keep on touching. Your work is not in vain. As we get prepared for the message. I love you, Jesus. I want
Everybody has been blessed. Amen. 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 Everybody has had God bring you through and bring you out. Yeah. Everybody here has had something where they didn't know if they was going to make it. And all of a sudden, boom. Yeah. Somebody said, man. <laughs> God comes. God changes the whole game, the whole situation. Yeah, yeah. Be merciful or gracious to us. Be merciful. Be, be a, a way which he know that he stoops where we are. And knows everything and tries to let you know he got it. Amen. He, does. Amen. he got it. God does. He got it. He is merciful to us even when we do bad things. Mm -hmm. Let it know that just because you go to church doesn't mean that you be good all the time. Amen. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Too many people are, are, are mad about some, a certain person in church. And, Made, made them angry, made them sad. Uh -oh. But understand, we are like a place in the hospital sometimes. Right. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get better. Amen. Right. Amen. And he's moving and, and working in our lives. Yeah. Let you know that some people always say, oh, y'all got hypocrites. I say, yeah, I love hypocrites. That's why we're in here. We're trying to change them more than hypocrites. Yeah. Well, I heard somebody say, I'm glad I'm in the boat uh -huh. instead of out in the rain. Uh -huh. I heard anything about the time uh, someone asked, uh, one of the uh, sons asked Noah, he said, it stinks in here. Uh -huh. He got all these animals. Uh -huh. It stinks in here. It smells in here. And Noah had to tell him, this is not the Bible, so if you look at the Bible, what he says. <laughs> but Noah said, I'd rather be inside with the stink than outside with the blood. Amen. 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 Yes, sometimes, even in church, it stinks in here. Mm -hmm. But I'd rather be in the stink mm -hmm. than be out in the blood. Amen. Amen. So we need to continue to pray. We need to pray for one another. Pray for one another. That, 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 that God's Spirit will help us with this. One of the sins that we as Christians do is that we're too afraid to tell people about Jesus. Yeah. We're still saying, oh, they, they may not like me if I talk about Jesus. Mm. Or they, oh, boy, they, 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 they may find me all that time. But you need not to be ashamed to be a witness for the Lord. Amen. And we need to be praying for one another. That we might make his way and save the power known among all nations. Yeah. All nations. I heard somebody, uh, Bishop Ison once said, in any place including Rockford. There is no sinner shortage. Meaning the fact that there's a lot of people still not back. A lot of people still out in the world. A lot of people need for you and only you. Don't need preachers. Don't need a folk. They need you to say, do you love Jesus? Yeah, yeah. I want you to introduce you to Jesus. Because he brought me out, I know you could bring him out. We need to tell others about him. The psalmist was burdened for those in the world who did not know God. And he understood the responsibility to take God's salvation to the Gentiles. Accordingly, he prayed for God to be merciful and to favor all his believers. Think about that. Are you moved in this world of the untold billions in this world? Our families, neighborhoods, cities of people who do not know God. Are you burdened about that? 
Are you shaken by the fact that the unsaved are going to spend eternity in hell separate from God? And unless they believe this will happen, and they, they cannot believe without hearing. Mm. They cannot believe without you saying something. And we all do not want someone saying, I was around so-and-so, and they never told me about Jesus. Mm. I was around so-and-so, they never invited me to church. Mm. I was around so-and-so, they never told, I didn't even know there was a secret agent Christian. <laughs> You knew everything else about them. Uh -huh. But as far as being a Christian, you didn't know about that. Mm. They're a Christian. Are we willing to go to be sent by God to take his salvation to others? Jesus said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Yes. Uh, bring them, baptize them. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to observe all things and whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, yeah. even until the end of the world. Have we thought about that? Are we only thinking that preachers are supposed to go out? Mm -hmm. No. Sometimes we only think that all a pastor's supposed to go get those people in. But where is your bunch? Hallelujah. Where is your bunch? All of us got a bunch. A bunch of folks we need to talk to. Yeah. We need to say, hey, I love you. I love you enough to tell you the truth. I love you enough to tell you the story. The gospel story. Yeah. Ask God to stir everyone to accept his salvation and praise him. A picture of God's kingdom. We need to be praying that Lord stir folks up. Yes. All right. yes. This message, I hope it stir you up. Yes. I want you to be the same as you were when you came in. I don't want you, I want you to be changed some way, somehow. Yes. Every little change helps. Yes. Every little change helps. That they might all repent and praise God. Yeah. I want to see everybody. From the person on the streets, the person in the, in, in the liquor store, whoever you want, I want to see them praise God. Amen. Amen. Because as Mama used to say, time! Mm. Uh, Y'all know what I'm about to say. Time! Yeah. It's winding up. Yes. You don't know when. Your time is up. And you don't know when your family members, your friends, yes, even your enemies, time is winding up. Yeah. It, just, it just got me the fact is that we could have a top store in Rocky. Mm -hmm. And then on that day, I just went to the store. Yeah. That's all. And that's such a tragic happening. Mm -hmm. We need to be in prayer. Amen. We need to be in prayer. That God will always provide for his people. Yeah. Yeah. That we and they will always fear. And the last said on that 67th song. That we that they and we will fear and reverence God. Yeah. That we will fear and reverence God. Fear is saying that one, that you respect him highly. Yes. And yes, there's a uh, definition of fear that says you need to be scared of him. But scared to change. Scared of him to change. Not scared of him to be scared. Right. Amen. Because God has done many things, but he's waiting for you to change, Amen. to change. Let you know that we got to ask ourselves, what can we do to honor God? Yeah. 
What can we do to praise God? It's good to praise God in the house. But do you praise Him in your house? Do you praise Him in your car? Do you praise Him in your bathroom? Do you praise Him in the places that they folk want you? Don't even think that you would praise Him. Praise Him. Only thing you have to do is praise Him is open up your mouth. mouth. As I come to a close, until Christ returns, our Lord has commanded us to do two things. To pray for God's kingdom to come and to take the gospel to all the people of the earth. When we faithfully obey that great commission, the worship of God will increase throughout the world and his kingdom will establish one soul at a time. I want you to start thinking and praying. It starts with prayer. But I want you to start thinking, who can come? Who can come? Because there should not in any church I say any church be such thing as an empty pew. And you can bring your friends and I want you to feel when you get to my empty pew. And the only thing you're supposed to do is just ask. The only thing you're supposed to do is tell them that Jesus loves you. Yeah. He went to the cross for you. He died. He rose again for you. And in believing in him, you will have everlasting life. That's all. But I ask that you pray for a certain person in your life. And I want you to cry. Because we have, we, we, we're not serious yet. We still think they might have a lot of time. And you have to pray for that person who's still in the world. Pray for that person who has backslide. Pray for that person who, who refuses to go to Christ. Amen. Because guess what? One day you were out in the world. Amen. One day you didn't Except Christ. One day you didn't want to go to church. Even many times when God was calling you and knocking at the door of your heart. But you hear that. You hear that. I'm so glad someone didn't give up on me. Somebody needs prayer and let them know I'm not going to give up on you. I'm not going to give up on you. You do not need a badge saying you are evangelist. Mm -hmm. Or a little stick on your head saying I'm a preacher. Amen. We all are preachers. Yeah. And we need to preach yeah. until God comes down. Yeah. We need to preach until so and so comes back. We need to preach until we see our daughters and our sons and our brothers and our sisters and our nieces and our nephews comes out coming. I'm here. I'm changing. We need to preach to the one you thought would never come back will come back. Preach and pray. Preach and pray. Because nobody in your family no way in your life, nor the nation's life, is too bad to have Jesus. Amen. Amen. Everyone needs Jesus. Amen. Amen. So your prayer. So your prayer. What you hope and prayer pray should be. Not just only see mouth feel. Let's see everybody yeah. Every church. We got work to do. Yeah. As more than more computers. Yeah. We got work to do. 
Because your friend is still out there. Your brother is still out there. Your sister is still out there. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we thank you for this message. When we bow our heads, that we will be in prayer for every person that's come into our lives. And that we be concerned about their soul. Concerned about their lifestyle. Concerned, what? About their eternity. Lord, I know we've all been slack. We all have not tried to tell anybody about Jesus. Lord, we pray that you will make a miracle happen. Because salvation is a miracle happening in a person. Yeah. Keep us in God. And Lord, we give you the praise for souls that are being saved right now. Yeah. We give you the praise that our loved ones are going to get saved right now. Yeah. We thank you, Lord, that something's going to happen that we're going to say, my, my, my. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody came to their mind and said something about Jesus that they turn their lives around and get saved. Yeah. We thank you, Lord. Yeah. Help us do the same. Tell somebody Jesus is calling them home. In Jesus' name, we pray. Church, say amen. 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 Give God the praise. Give God the praise and the glory. What you hope in prayer should be. There may be someone today that did not expect such a message. There may be someone today that did not think that God was going to talk to them right today. Yeah. They just thought they were just going to check in and say, I went to church to check out. There may be somebody today that want to give Christ their life and the church their hand. I come to tell you what, one that you're not here by and always say, you're not here by accident. This day is your day to accept Jesus as your Lord. No matter how long you've been in church, if you hear Jesus talking to you right now, say, come, just as you are, just as you are. Mark, give me a song just as I am. Because it's a serious business right now. There may be someone that said, I want to sit here. I, I, I want to come right here. Because you know that Jesus is talking to you. If that's you, will you come? Will you come? Just as you are. Can we all sing that song that we miss, Just As I Am? right now. You do not have to be dressed and smelling good and everything. He wants you just as you are. Is there one? Is there one? Is there one? And you in Facebook. Jesus is calling you right now. He said, just accept me and believe that I will be with you always. Won't you say, Jesus, I believe you. I know you died on the cross and you rose again. And because of that, I believe with all my heart that I know I will be saved. That's the only prayer we ask you to do. This hands, I am. 
dare not want today. We all got marching orders for this now. All of us got marching orders. This week, this week, somebody will come into your path and you will hear God saying, tell me. Is this saying, tell them. Tell them you hear that voice saying, tell them. You are in, you are in command to go in and tell them about Jesus. Amen. You don't have to be long. <laughs> Just tell them. There's a man named Jesus who rose from the dead, who loves you. Yeah. Do not this week refuse to call. Do not this week. Think or ignore it. Do not this week say, oh, I'll catch you next week. Because you don't have next week. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give God the praise for your time. Be glad that everyone's here. We ask that you continue to tell somebody about the Lord. And that how many we have today? 35. 35. Let's give God a praise on 35. Praise God. We praise God. After we go to get the put on, uh, put your prayer list, put your prayer list in the back of the box. When you pray for us, bite down and needs prayer. And I will pray for them. As we, and thank you, visitors, for coming. Amen. Give God a praise on you.